I'm uh, from Canada originally. I'm born in Quebec City and um, now I'm in Vail, Colorado in the Rocky Mountains. And uh, I spent my youth in Canada and I came to the U.S. Um, to do my part of my college and I played uh, varsity sports in college and then I decided to go to medical school. Went back to Canada, did my training in orthopedic surgery and now I'm an uh, orthopedic surgeon in Vail, Colorado. I had developed a relationship with these patients and for me, of course, I'm a, I'm a doctor so I take care of the medical part, but I also get connected with them and I have a little bit of an emotional connection with them. So when I watch them live or on television perform, uh, I also uh, have the same feeling that they probably have that I'm hoping this is their time and they perform and they achieve their goals. So I, I really enjoy it actually. Uh, individual sport, or team sport, uh, I really um, I have a special connection with these people and I, I, um, I, I just hope the best for them. I mean, for them personally. As far as the medical part, uh, I do what I have to do and, you know, I have a, a protocol for that. But uh, also the emotional part of the uh, goal they want to achieve, I always discuss that with them before the operation because I like to, to know <clears throat> why are we going to do this, what's their goals, and uh, it's fun to see, uh, to see them perform afterward and have success. Um, so it's, it's very uh, rewarding, actually. My father is a surgeon, um, and my father was always a role model. Um, uh, I saw my first uh, operation, I would say, uh, in, a, in a certain operating room, I was like six years old. Um, just by necessity, my father picked me up at school, brought me to the hospital. My mom was uh, out tra uh, on a trip, uh, so he brought me with me and, you know, I was very, at six years old, very, you know, it's a, a, an age where you're very impressed with everything. So I, I was looking everywhere and I, I watched, he put me in the, in the operating room in the corner and I was waiting for him, it was a short procedure, but I was, he explained to me what he was going to do. And so it's always stayed in my mind. And then as I grew older, you know, I, I started to understand a little better uh, that profession. And so did I know along I want to be a surgeon? Uh, I wouldn't say not, for sure, but I always had a, had a big interest. And as I developed as a teenager, and when I started to study uh, uh, pre-med, or I remember the first really interest I had was when I studied genetics in in college. And then I really, uh, and I was reading a little more about the profession, and I really uh, kind of, at that point, uh, decided to, to pursue that that uh, that avenue for a career. Yeah. He would be for sure for sure, just for his wor hard work, his dedication, and most importantly, he, um, what I learned from him, he had a lot of compassion for his patients. He's a man uh, of extreme, uh, very solid values, and I really learned from him, from, from him how to take care of people and how to really look at the whole person, look at the patient. I would say, the worst, one of the worst mistakes I would have made would be to, uh, you know, not start, maybe not to start doing hip arthroscopy earlier. I should have started earlier. I started to do hip scope. The first one I did was in 1993. But maybe looking back, uh, developing that interest, I would have liked to start out there a little earlier. But it's not really a mistake. It's just something that I think there's so much work to be done in that space. Uh, you know, and I'm looking at my age now and what I have, you know, how much, how many years I have left in me. Uh, maybe I, I would have started a little earlier to get, develop that interest in that space. Because my first interest was really open procedure. Uh, open acetabular fracture, uh, hip replacements, revision hips. Uh, I would have maybe developed that, that, uh, <clears throat> that interest earlier maybe. Well, there's so much stuff we can do. Like right now, I think we're starting to understand 
um, the hip really, we understand the anatomy, we start, we're starting to understand more the muscular function around the hip. But I think there's a lot of work to be done in the cartilage portion of the hip, like how to repair cartilage in the hip. Uh, also, there's other avenues we have to look into, like uh, osteoporosis is a big problem worldwide for, um, for, 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 for people. Like osteoporosis leads to femoral neck fractures. And I think in the near future, we will have a solution to maybe prevent these fractures or at least try to decrease the incidence of this fracture. And it will be done arthroscopically. I think that's going to be a big part of the future, but also cartilage repair, biologics, uh, speed of recovery. These are the things I think that uh, we will achieve in, over the next five to ten years. You've got to have a passion. You really have to have the passion, and if you have the passion and goals, set goals, um, I think uh, you'll have a great balance in your life, you'll have happiness. But the biggest advice is to maintain the balance and, you know, to really have a passion for, for that space of medicine. It's uh, funny how things happen in life. So what happened is uh, uh, I used to have partners uh, in my practice in Florida that were team physician for the baseball team, for uh, the American football team. So I got a lot of referrals with young athletes who were having hip problem, and I was able to do hip arthroscopy. So I started to do that procedure, and I had, um, these patients were doing well, so they started telling their friends. And I would say in 2000, uh, Greg Norman, a uh, golfer, uh, had a hip problem. And uh, he came in, and you know we, uh, we had the discussion, took, I took care of him, and he did well. And Greg sent me a lot of his friends, a lot of his athletes' friends. And I also I'd like to thank him because Greg was a really big spokesperson for, for hip injuries in athletes. And Greg was really a, a catalyst, I would say, to start having all these athletes come to this. And from Greg, you know, I saw figure skaters, ice hockey players, uh, English soccer players. So really, to be honest, it's like word of mouth referral. Uh, and again, I got to create a, a high profile person like Greg Norman for that. And Greg, you guys know him. He won the British Open twice here in your uh, country. So great, great figure, great athlete, but also a great person who really wanted to educate other athletes about how much he was suffering with his hip and how now there was a way of treating this without ending the career. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's a great uh, space in, in the field of orthopedic surgery. There's a lot of development that needs to be done. And most importantly, I think we can have an impact in helping these patients, not only the, the, the athletes, but also, like I was saying about osteoporosis, I think if we can have a role in preventing these femoral neck fractures, because sometimes the medicine doesn't work as well, I think there's a technique that's going to come out in the future. We'll be able to have an impact on that as well. So prevent the morbidity of these hip fractures, especially young People in their mid, uh, you know, early 50s who are diagnosed with that, uh, that, that, that disorder, uh, they're afraid, let's say, of going skiing, biking, because if they have osteoporosis, their, their bones are more brittle. So if we can have an impact on these people to keep them active with this procedure through the scope, I think um, it's going to have a positive impact in, in, in that space as well. So uh, I think there's a lot of great things coming, uh, coming in the horizon and uh, on the horizon. There's a lot of great guys. And you know what's great also is the, f you know, every year we have uh, fellows coming in, in Vail to train with us. And we have very bright young men coming in and they all have a big interest in, in this uh, field of hip arthroscopy, joint preservation of the hip. So I think the future is really bright for that space.